Better Dead was made in 1970, and at the time it caused a storm of controversy. Critics said that it was too shocking. But 15 years later, what's happened to the addicts who took part? Tony and his wife, Sue. They left the South Coast for London. There, Tony joined the staff of Phoenix House, a rehabilitation center for drug addicts. Tony's marriage to Sue ended in divorce. Tony has now remarried and has a young daughter. He no longer works at Phoenix House, but is continuing to build a career in drug rehabilitation. If I had a handful of heroin now, um, I'd be frightened to death, I'm sure. Um, I wouldn't know what to do with it. I really wouldn't. It's, what do you, I, and I wouldn't know why. You know, what, there's no, um, no, I felt as bad since that time. Um, I felt as vulnerable, I felt as afraid, I felt as messed up, I felt as confused, I felt as lost, as lonely. Life, you know, is not always, not just a bunch of roses. Um, but I have absolutely no reason at all why, uh, what would that do if I did it? Uh, it wouldn't make me feel good, I know that. It would make me feel bad. Um, and it might just kill me. I, I know that I was very lucky in terms of not being killed by my drug use. That was, for me, for me, was certainly on the cards. Um, at that time, I, if I remember rightly, I weighed about five stone two. I, I, well, no, I, yes, I can remember that. Um, taking larger and larger amounts of whatever it was just to maintain a kind of day-to-day -day existence. Um, and in fact, in, the, in those days, I wanted to die. That was very clear to me then and now. In my mind, there's, there's absolutely no question.